What is up, folks? This is Ericast, and welcome back to Spiritfarer. Alright, so this is actually supposed to be the third episode, um, because I had some technical difficulties with the second one. Uh, I've been trying to change to 1440, um, and fortunately, the way I recorded it, it cut out the outside of my screen, because I record in 4K. So, yeah, had some issues there. Should be fixed now, though, so should not be a problem. But anyway, yeah, sorry about that. Um, something did happen in the last episode. Not a lot. I did a little bit of exploring. I did some fishing. And I built our kitchen. So here is the kitchen. Um... So, to get this, we had to go through a storm of jellyfish, and it was quite scary, and uh, we have an awesome cat to watch. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I have a feeling we will get to do that scenario again, so in the next few episodes, you'll probably be able to see it again. So I'm hoping we didn't actually lose too much out of that episode. But I will definitely make sure and get the next one next time it comes up. But to use this, we've got some recipes and we've got the actual cooking. So I made some corn, uh, popcorn, uh, for our guest on the ship. And discovered that each of our guests will prefer certain types of foods. The one that we have now prefers uh, comfort food and something else. I'll we'll have to remember. Um, let's see what else we can do. As you can see, I've got a few fish. Uh, I've got 26 herring now. Um, I've got a few turnips and some maple logs. Very useful building material. Let's see if the sawmill will do the trick. All right, so. Do we have any recipes? Okay, so yeah, just the popcorn that I made previously. So snack and cover food. All right. But anyway, let's go ahead and head outside. I'm not, I know we need to do a favor for our friend, but I don't remember. Uh, nothing to say. Food. Okay. Likes cover food and Oh, coffee, that was it. Uh, favorite food is coffee, which we actually have some coffee beans, but unfortunately, um, I can't plant anything right now because I don't have a garden um, or anything else. So let's go ahead. Oh, we also discovered the use of the bell. So when night comes, of course, they go to sleep and to wake everybody up, you ring the bell and they wake up. So what all do we need build so for a field we're going to need maple logs and limestone and for a garden we're going to need lightning in a bottle and maple logs so let's see what we've got open on the map so we did get to venture around a little bit okay so up here is where we need to go Oh yeah, Mustang Cove. Um, so this down here is, it's a location, but there's nothing actually there, um, except for like a, it's a parking bench or a uh, bus stop bench and some signs and stuff like that. But there's not actually anything down there. Uh, Alt Harbor, okay, so that's where we started. And then Albert Shipyard is of course where our Lone Shark is. Um, so I explored a little bit up here. Apparently it filled out some things down here. What's this? The Everdor. Ah, okay. Uh, so that's where we take people to go uh, when they're ready to, to pass on. All right, so let's go ahead and head up to here. Oops. Now I have noticed that the map back here, it'll actually show your progress along the line. It's hard to see at the moment, but it's slowly getting closer. Or we can watch it on here. And, uh, 
it'll show as we get closer and closer from our destination to where we need to go. So there's a storm over here, a thunderstorm. Ah, lightning in a bottle is where we can find that. I journeyed into this area right here and it's just really rainy. Um, I haven't journeyed into the thunderstorm part because it mentioned in dialogue that we're going to have to get ship upgrades to travel in certain regions. So I don't know if we're going to need an upgrade to our ship to be able to travel in the thunderstorm, but we're going to have to see. All right, so let's go ahead and go outside. Um, usually when night comes, we actually can't travel, but maybe since we started um, before, we can actually travel at night. We haven't stopped yet. It's pretty interesting. Oh, that's pretty. I guess we've made it to our destination. Mm. That was strange. Yeah. Mustine Cove discovered. So I'm actually having to record this one a little bit differently. I'm having to use screen capture instead of uh, instead of um, just capturing the game because for some reason it's not OBS isn't working where it'll actually pop up that instead. So apologies if for some reason my uh, taskbar shows up every once in a while. Look at that. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Seeds for the future. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and sleep since apparently most things happen during the day. I, I guess it's just some kind of fluke that she's up and around. Um, just because I started traveling when it was daytime and arrived at night. But let's go ahead and sleep for the new day. So the hour is now of the bell. So are you, you're up, but you're not out. So I ring that. Good morning. All right, so let's see. Can we get on the island over here? No. Over here? Oh, well, I mean, that would make sense. <laughs> Let me take the boat. I just love the atmosphere. Oh, a medium glim bottle and an empty bottle. There we go. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. Uh, okay. It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about Everlight. Okay. Well, I mean, if, if you say so. Did I just wave at the tree? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Really? Oh, kitty. Well done. Maple log times eight. Sweet. Congratulations. For you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. That's not very nice. Joke aside. That's how you do it. Go on ahead, cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all of the maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. Yep, berries. Sweet. Raspberries. So I'm guessing I'm waving to the cat, not to, <laughs> not to the tree. <laughs> I'm still worried about our kitty. The logs. And jump. And jump. Oh, what's this? Hold E as long as possible to break a mining node. Ah, I see. Okay. Oh, 
Oh. Well, I, I mean, I did. It was just too late. <laughs> there we go. Limestone. Okay. Is there anything else up here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Uh, something that we did discover in the last one is that we can dive, but only at certain times. Um, let's see if there's anything in the water below us, but it doesn't look like it. You coming? There you are. Anything in the basket? Nope. Okay. So, in the future, we can come back and get some more trees. No? No? Okay. Come on. I don't want to leave you behind. Hopefully, I didn't leave her behind. Okay, there she is. Okay. Well, well. Hey. A snack would be great about now. Okay, well, I can do that. Let's go in here and do some cooking. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and cook both of them. That way we have one on hand in the future. That is really handy. It's what we need no matter what it is we need. Okay, there's some food, and two, and we've got popcorn. Please, I can't eat the same thing twice. I don't hate myself that much. Well, apparently I hate myself a lot. <laughs> All right. Um... I wonder, do you like... Okay, so berries are a snack. Hmm. No, sorry, Stella. You know I can't eat fruit for the life of me. I've tried. But I just can't. Well, that was a snack. Well, I'm not going to feed you fish. Because you're a deer of some sort. And, uh... You aren't a carnivore. Alright, so let's see... I don't know that I have enough room. Um, so heal. No, I don't want to move that. Oh, yeah. See, I don't have enough room for a field. Oh. Okay. Um. You know what? Let's go back. And take you, put you up there, and then, oh, whoops. Oh, I need to put the carrots with you, put you over here. Okay. Oops, no, nope, wrong button. You can pretty much play this game with a keyboard. Uh, I've mentioned it at least I think I've mentioned it for you guys I know I mentioned it last last episode but um, this game seems like it was made for like really seems like it was made for keyboard and I mean not keyboard and mouse uh, for controller so you can actually do everything with just the keyboard you don't even have to use the mouse you can but uh, so I'm just kind of messing around with and seeing how it goes. You know what? That's going to really bother me. So I'm going to move you. Okay. There we go. And let's go down here. A field. Ha. It's better looking than I thought. It looks so happy. I don't know if it's a he or a she. And I kind of... I'm getting the feeling that you're not supposed to know. Because there's never any assigned gender to the character, to the main character, to Stella. Um, there is a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple, but elegant. Yeah. Is it really? Okay. Uh, now, all you have to do is plant 
field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the field, so don't bother trying. Mm -hmm. But you know me. I would kill a plastic cact... Oh, okay, I say. Um, I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. You know, I have actually killed an air plant before. Um, all you have to do is just, like, spray a mist of water on it, like, very rarely, and it's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm really good with things that are hard to grow. So, uh, violets in particular are very difficult to grow. Um, but I'm really good with violets. Unfortunately, I can kill an air, <laughs> air plant though. <laughs> oh goodness. All right. So, okay. Anyway, there's only one place we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. Mm -hmm. He has set up shop in Hummingburg, <laughs> uh, the busiest town of the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc., a shady retail franchise with very little moral values, and they deal with seeds. Okay. Uh, yes, this world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling what Stella's feeling at the moment. Mm -hmm. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this little cheeky little raccoon once, and honestly, and his dishonesty was blatant. Okay. Let's head to Hummingbird, then. Mm -hmm. We just need to find some seeds for that field. Don't I already have some? Or do I have seeds for the garden? I think I might have seeds for the garden. Um, when planted in the field, these will grow into savory corn. Okay. And coffee beans are for the field as well. Okay. It's like, I thought I had some. Oh, I need to water them. Oh, okay, good. I was like, I don't know that I have a watering can, but thankfully... Um, I'm going to go ahead and do another coffee bean because I don't have any at the moment. I don't have any um, coffee at the moment, but I do have two popcorn, so I'm going to do just that. Now, I don't know how long these are going to take to grow, so I'm going to leave the third one open and not grow anything on that. Okay. So let's go ahead and head off to... Bird. Oh, we've got a lot of different things. Okay, so these are the way that you get bright jelly. And these are crates that you can find um, different treasures in. So I will do these. I'm trying to remember if I did that on camera or not. Um, I think we stopped once we got the ship. But I'm going to have to look first. I know we didn't do one of these, so I'm going to go ahead and head down here and let you guys see exactly what's going on. And actually, this setup right here is going to be really good for us once we... Oh! <laughs> Can I walk on the roof, or do I just automatically slide? Okay, automatically slide. Okay. But we need to be able to get... Oh, I can't be on that. Oh, that sucks. Oh, okay. Well, we can get higher than I could before, so that'll be helpful. And you'll see why, because it's actually height is very important. But anyway, I'll be back with you guys in a second once we get there. Again? Yeah. Here we are again. The jellyfish are stealing all the light. Because they've stolen all hope for me. Mm -hmm. She's really afraid of jellyfish. I never get used to it. And part of me makes me think it's all my fault. Alright, you can do your thing again. Mm -hmm. Are you up for it? Mm -hmm. Don't be scared, Stella. They'll be coming straight for us. Indeed they will. Oh, there's one that's up high too. Um, I guess I'll come back here. Oh. 
and I'll get none of them is what I'll do. So these are the ones that aren't green you get money for. The big ones obviously give a lot more. So I guess I'm just going to stay on the bottom. Well, I say that and then they start getting higher and higher. Okay. I'm definitely not doing very well at this. Oh. Oh, goodness. A lot of them. Come back. Okay, that's fine. A little bit of jelly. I don't think I have any at the moment. I spent all of it making the kitchen. Okay, so we've got two up there. Can we get up high enough fast enough? Nope. Now, this one is a lot harder than the one before it was the first one i mean that makes sense though i mean they're teaching you what exactly goes on but there definitely are a lot more oh my gosh come back come back <laughs> nope eh, okay well we got a decent amount i'll get better at it So we got a decent little bit of, well, I won't say a decent amount of money because it's probably not accounting for much, but you know, we're just at the beginning of the game, so that's okay. So it is night. I doubt we're gonna be able to go any further. But that is okay. Let's see. Um, I do wanna hit up these, but I'm gonna, oh, Yep, it's too dark to navigate. So I probably could have gotten going, but, you know, I just kept going through the night, but it took too long, and that's quite all right, because I can just sleep. But I'm going to check real quick and see if we actually did do one of those little salvage things. I think I did that in the, the missing episode, so we'll probably do that, but let me check real quick, and I'll find out. Okay, so we are just about there. Oops, didn't mean to go that far. So let's go ahead and head out. Oh, I forgot about this. Um, the last time I came to one of these, I was trying to read some dialogue and I was constantly hitting things and it was really, really disturbing. <laughs> I was actually worried that, you know, something was going to happen, but it never did. So, so I'm going to go ahead and get these barnacles off. And just empty shells. I don't know if they're actually used for anything, but barnacles aren't good to leave on a ship. So we'll go ahead and... Oh, that was a muzzle. Empty shell. I can't jump up that high. Okay. And here... You can get all sorts of things. So coffee bean seeds, empty bottle, linen seed, maple log, and something else I couldn't read. Is it disappeared before I could read it? Um, there are also little bits of... Oh, yeah, I did that a lot too, because I was trying to get up there and kept hitting my head. Um, I think... So go to an area that doesn't have a guardrail, and then jump up. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I'm trying to go down, but it's not letting me in an area that has a rail. So I guess we'll just have to wait until next time that we can find um, an area where we use our uh, dinghy. And then we can get that barnacle off. Because otherwise it's really going to bother me. Hello. Now we don't have any... Oh, we need some water. So let's go water these real quick. With our magical... I don't even know what to call it. Well, in this case, it's a magical water watering can, but otherwise, it's pretty much whatever we need it to be. 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here for today. Um, we will go ahead and check out our mysterious rapscallion raccoons um, <laughs> in the next episode. But between episodes, I'm probably going to go ahead and hit up these different areas where I can harvest some things. Since that will be kind of repetitive and... Um, I mean, maybe you guys want to see that, but eh, yeah, I'll just take care of it. But anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a very peaceful game. Um, just listening to the music is so nice. And the creak of the boat. Another game with really good atmosphere, I have to say. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time. Take it easy.